changes in the UK building market. There is currently a reduction of all construction work. New work, repair, refurbishment and maintenance are all predicted to fall. However, there is such a pressing need to upgrade the housing stock that it is predictable that work on existing buildings will be a growth sector. As 99% of the building stock exists and 45% of the national carbon output is attributed to buildings, considerable emphasis will be placed on upgrading of existing buildings. New buildings will be predominantly prefabricated. The current bespoke market for housing and industrial buildings will decline, becoming a luxury item to mark prosperity. The need for prefabricated dwellings is being driven by economics and population increase. It should be considered that moves towards manufacturer standardisation in construction will see new stakeholders entering the market. The science of buildings. We need to understand building performance and advancement of technology. Currently there is some pressure to promote and market the performance of buildings. However, as interest increases, this will come under much critical review. Currently we have little understanding of how buildings work with regard to energy efficiency. First there is a need to understand what is happening. We need to test, measure, monitor and control both new and existing buildings and use the data to learn how to properly advance building technology. The government will inevitably use fiscal measures to encourage building owners, social landlords and developers to upgrade buildings. Research will be needed to properly inform government policy. High technology buildings. Building information modelling has the potential to improve the way we design and cost and manage buildings. We've only just scratched the surface with high technology buildings. Information management systems that pull together multiple levels of design and performance data will enable us to use to improve the way we, we cost and manage buildings. Building information models that are linked to data mining software will improve our ability to recognise problems and improve building management. Controlling buildings over heterogeneous networks using internet protocol will open up new methods of controlling buildings including monitoring their use and performance from remote stations. As we currently have little idea of how buildings perform, this is an area of significant development. Organisation and governance. Of the top 20 contracts in the country, few will have the requisite skills to undertake high technology work. Many companies will merge or be taken over with increased moves towards management frameworks and more demanding pre-qualification measures, fewer contractors will have the organisation structures to undertake the work. To engage in the frameworks, subcontractors will need to upskill to join the supply chains. While the top organisation structures will change with less major contractors, the demographics of the underlying SMEs that feed into the supply chains will not alter significantly. Of the 180,000 construction firms in the UK, 96% are thought to have less than eight employees. Construction management research needs to focus on management issues faced by the SMEs and the major contractors and the supply chains that link them together. Construction law. With the increased performance standards being claimed and buildings currently not hitting their requirements, it's only time before the construction legal services recognise a new market for claims. It's our role to research and educate and advance the construction, the, the, uh, advance the knowledge of contractors about the risks associated with performance standards and the clients and lawyers that want compensation for the benefits not delivered. New construction partners. New companies are having a significant effect on business and organisation. The likes of Microsoft and Google have already changed the way we access and share information. Established platforms such as eBay, 
may be used to procure construction goods and services in the future. The nature of construction organisations will change and the construction companies will need to look outside of the industry for their future competitors and partners. Is there a need for construction management? Construction management as a field does not have a right to exist. It must demonstrate its value and justify its worth. Collaboration and excellence are essential to lead on local, national and global markets during an economic downturn. The organisations that benefit from change take advantage of their best resources, networks and focus their efforts on relevant markets. Education and research is now in or moving towards a global economy. The construction and educational establishments that support the network and that prosper in the UK will capitalise on local and international partners to obtain recognition and make an impact. The position of construction management research. UK construction management research is well positioned. Lead UK academic institutions have a strong presence in, a, in associations that have a strong international position. To maintain their prominence, greater collaboration and impact will be required. Schools of construction management must strengthen collaboration with leading research groups, formalise research, establish the significance of research to industry and make a significant impact. We must capitalise on existing research and networks, strengthen links with industry at every opportunity and we must encourage recognition of excellence. While we cannot predict nor control all aspects of the future, we can influence. We can ensure that we make the most of those factors which are stable. Look to improve services, construction and research. Expose areas of excellence in research and business and ensure that networks are strong and robust so that construction management is ready to react to those events that we cannot predict. We must engage at all levels and make an impact on local and national, international markets. Thank you for your attention.